Welcome everyone, this is Greg with Liz Bear Industries here to demonstrate installing the OSSC into our new uh, replacement case. So tools you're going to need are a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. First step is to remove the top section of the OSSC case. So there's just four screws around the top. You can remove those. If for some reason the standoffs start spinning on you and you can't get it to remove, you can take the pliers, hold on the bottom section standoffs to unscrew. But in my case, they all came out without any hassles. Now the next step is you have to remove this nut that holds the power switch in place. So you can take the in those pliers and just loosen them and then you should be able to spin it freely off. Once that's done, you can take the center section off of your OSSC. Now the next step is to remove these standoffs. To do that you can just take the needle nose pliers and just spin them so that they spin freely and then you can undo them. Just like that. And sometimes they can just be undone by hand. Once those are out, your OSSC will be free. Just remove the bottom section of the shell. And you set that off to the side out of your way. The kit comes with the top and bottom shell. The top shell has the buttons embedded into the shell so they can't be lost. There is also a slide switch cover for the audio selector and a cover for the JTAG port. You can take the uh, nut that you pulled off of the power switch and you can put it back on just so that you don't lose it in case you ever want to go back to the original case for some reason. So get that put on before we move on to installing the board in the case. So next step is to take your OSSC and install it into the case. It is a tighter fit uh, to make sure that it fits snugly and everything lines up. We had to make the fit a little bit tighter. So just like that fits in to the bottom shell. Now you're going to take your slide switch cover, just goes into this slot down here over this slide switch. And you just want to set it over top of that switch because this is going to be used to control this switch once the case is together. There's a little cover that the slide switch cover slides under so that it doesn't come off once it's assembled. So you just want to have that in place before you put the top shell on. Then you can take the top shell. Now the top shell has this indent here for going around the SCART connection. So that's usually the hardest part to get kind of in place. So it kind of has to go at, a, at an angle to get past the start point of that and then it falls into place once it's there. And I already lost the slide switch cover. So you got to make sure that that's in place. It won't go anywhere once the top is on, so just like that. And then you can flip the case over and the four included long black screws slide in and just tighten them down. You don't want to over tighten these, you just want them snug. 
They do create their own threads as they go in, which is why you don't want to over tighten them. They will strip the plastic out. Once you've got all four of those in, there are included rubber bumper feet to go on the bottom to raise the bottom of the case up a little bit so that air can flow in through the vents in the bottom. So there are vents in the bottom here. So these bumpers are just stick on. They come on a little sheet that are included with your kit. So go ahead and put those bumpers on. Keeps it so it doesn't move as easy. And this is a silicon mat, so it moves pretty easy on that regardless, but. And then you can take your JTAG cover and slide it into place. And you are done. Your OSSC is now protected with a nice fully enclosed shell. There is vents on the bottom to pull air in. And in the actual logo, there are vents to help any hot air that's inside of the case escape. Anyway, this is the OSSC case. Thank you and have a wonderful day.